Welcome to Shea Spiritual Insights for February, and we're glad you're all here. Wow. Um, I don't have a lot to share. That the We've talked about the incoming energies, and they're continuing to flow in, but it feels like we're more and more, as the energies come in, we're anchoring the earth and the, and the soul group to this higher plane that we're all beginning to operate on, especially those who are on the committed spiritual path. So that's what I have to share. I've been feeling the energies come in. I don't know about some of you. Um, they come in sometimes and I can't go to sleep. Um, I just lay there in bed. There's not that there's anything wrong. My mind isn't working on anything. It's just the energies are just, just coming in and it's like a caffeine. <laughs> so anyway, so since there's just a few of us here, um, how about if we start with Marcy, beautiful Hawaii? Share some of that Hawaii weather with us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the weather is beautiful. I, however, am not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know. Today has been just like, oh, my gosh. And yeah. it's been that way all day. It's that, um, you know, not it's not the baggage. It's that other, that energy, um, whatever that thing is within us, that construct that, um, you know, it's kind of like fighting to hold its identity. And that thing is not happy today. It's been like inner battle all day, like having a wrestling match and a hornet's nest going on inside. Oh, the stuff coming so, up from your subconscious and in, in the, um, yes. Well, one second, is, I'm going to have Deborah um, put on her headphones. I'm going to have her switch to headphone mode. Um, okay. I, you know, she bought headphones like three years ago for the TV set. So you could just listen to the TV set without it interfering. And I totally had forgotten all about that. So. <laughs> Mars, it's so wonderful to hear your voice. I'm glad to hear you guys too. It feels so much better. Just just to know you're still there. Jeff, we can't hear you. Can't hear you, Jeff. Oh, is he talking? Yep, he was, he is, but he's figuring out something different now. So okay. just we'll soak in the Hawaii energies of Marcy. Don't soak in my energy today. <laughs> you don't want it. <laughs> but Hawaii's energy, yeah, you know, it's so beautiful. It's just intense, though. It's intense. Can you hear and me it's now? Nonstop. Yes. Now we can hear. Now we can yes. hear you. Okay. It. Um. This thing when I've noticed occasionally because the there's the, um, the camera has a built-in mic and I use the other this one here. And if it switches, it sometimes gets confused. So I had to unconfuse it. So, anyway, so are you were saying, Marcy, I'm so sorry. I would, can you can you repeat that last thing? Oh, I, I just saying that it, um, you know, that that energy body that that wants to hold on to old identity and stuff is just having just having a fit today, pretty much all day. I mean, it just let up. But, you know why that's um, happening, right? Well, I <laughs> I have one week left where I'm where I'm still here by myself. I don't have my roommate with me, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking it's kind of like a crash course is what it feels like. But it, but you know your the grounding techniques and all that. It's like that this energy thing does not care about that at all. It could care less how grounded well, anything is. Well, it does help a little bit, even though when it gets intense, the energies come in like this, what they do, and we've talked about it before, is it's because yeah. it's raising us upwards and that and we have that ballast and the balloon has to let go of the ballast and as it lets go, some of it falls away, but some of it gets processed through our energy field. And that's what's happening with you. Um, yeah, and it's getting really weird because it's, um, you know how it is here and it, um, I can feel it outside of me now too. It'll it feels almost like I'm in an energetic tornado outside of my body, all swirly and weird. Mm -hmm. And you know, 
distorted and um, it's just trippy. And and there's not like you can get out of it. Like if you even if you just go and sit and try and be by yourself, you can't run away from it. It's coming anyway. <laughs> yeah, because it's part of you. It's coming up. And and you yeah. know, I it's yeah. one of those things that's kind of annoying. Um, it can be really yeah. uh, distracting. I uh, at the very least. But just know it just means oh, yeah. that stuff is it, you're releasing stuff and and it's happening yeah. at probably the fastest pace it can and still keep everything somewhat as stable as it can be yeah Even yeah it, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah i know it's just part of the it's just part of the gig it it'll eventually it'll have to quit i would think yeah eventually. but because a lot of it we're in you know we think about it all of us chose to come to earth at this time we knew this was coming before we came, yeah. it was part of our plan that we would come because this is accelerated times, the high energies and, and my mentor June talked about it and Dr. McKimmy certainly knew about it for those who knew him. Um, he talked about these times and it's and things are being let go at, at a multiplicative pace than they normally would in, in regular times. It's a blessing in that we're releasing stuff, but because some of it gets processed through our energy field, those old energies as they're being released, we get to, let's say, experience them on their way out. And yeah, and that tornado swirly thing that I see and I and it's a good way of describing it because that's what it looks like. Um, yeah. yeah, it can be a, it can be a real challenge. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's good news because I didn't I didn't get uh, put in the newspaper or anything like that. So it's, <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. Well, I'm glad I'm to hear that. The, uh, yeah. So if we see you on like the news and, you know, Marcy in Hawaii, um, I'll be paying close attention, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I think you're going to be fine. No, 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 nothing in you a bit today. So anyway. All right. Yeah, I know there's nothing that can be done about it. It's just got to run its course, but um, I'll be grateful. I'll be really grateful when it's over. Yeah, and it'll probably slow down a bit when your roommate comes back, as you say, because they tend to reground yeah, us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, and it's and it's kind of funny too because it, I could have pushed a couple of times to say, you know, could you hurry and come back, hurry and come back, and each time I said, oh, take your time, stay as long as you want, because I know this has got to do what it's got to do. Yeah, and. And afterward, and the more of it's gone, it's, it, you know, once it's gone, it really is gone forever. It's just that there's so, so many layers that we've managed to accumulate over the, the eons, so to speak, that, you know, it, it takes a little while for some of times for it to go away, but it, it is a yeah. blessing. And this is the life where pretty much everyone that's here, all of you have decided, uh, as we've talked about, this is a life where in your each in, your, in our own way are going to wrap things up and I call it putting it in a bow. Put this old phase of lifetimes behind us and all that that spectrum of learning associated with it so that we can move to the next level, whatever it is, we're, however we want to do that. And as we go through our life, we make those decisions. Um, what we're gonna finish up here, what we're gonna do in between lives, what we're gonna do for another future life, if we're even gonna have a future one, um, those sorts of things. So I think this could be the last one. I'm pretty sure that, that would be totally fine with me. I'd be totally all over that. It can be, but there's a part of you tempted that actually is looking for another life. And for those who know um, my friend Kay, one of her missions, and this ties to this next life thing, one of her missions was to get to recruit people for this next life that where it's really important is it's, it's it's, it's as critical as the point period that we're in now and maybe even more so it's a point in the future. And this through a period over the decades of asking people questions and I kept people having me tune into their future lives. I started noticing this nexus of when people were coming back and I and it's in the late 2700s, the early 2800s. And for years I tried to get my friend um, Kay to pin her down on the date and finally about two years ago. 
I said, you know, okay. And I told her, I said, all these people I talk to, and they don't even know each other, but they all seem to be coming back in the late 2700s and the early 2800s. Is that when that life is going to happen? And she says, you know what? I think it is. And then the next conversation on, that I had a couple of weeks later with her, she said, yep, that that's when it is. And it's a really important mm-hmm. lifetime because the people that are wrapping up in this lifetime were the, those that are of us that are kind of putting it in a bow so that we can move on. One of the choices that you have is coming back illuminated, in other words, awakened. So when you go into that life the next time, you will know, you will remember this life. You will know about your previous lives. You'll be um, enlightened, illuminated, and ready to help humanity if you so choose to. So uh, everybody that's on the screen right now, um, that is an option for each of you if you choose to take it. So it's by no means decided. I think each of us will decide as we get closer, maybe after in the after in between times, but it's a really important time for the planet and light workers are going to be really needed during that time, just as they are now. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the mm-hmm. options you have for you. That's why I mentioned it. Well, at this point, I'd, I'd say not not real interested, but <laughs> who knows, well, right? You so, never know. You know. see, we get back up there, and we see things differently. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah mute, you know. <laughs> Is there oh. anything you see that, uh, um, that would be helpful for me to look at, be aware of, do that would make things a little smoother the rest of the way? Well. You're probably not going to be real wanting me to say this, but just can just you're doing what you need to be doing. And I know it's a energetic swirl. It can be kind of discombobulating. That's the word I'm going to use. It can be disorienting, but it's really, really allowing you to let go of a lot of these layers so that when um, before he gets back, that it'll Mm -hmm. as much as can be released can be so then you can restabilize at that next level um so your higher guidance is taking advantage of it so the only thing i can say is keep doing what you're doing okay all right thank you jeff i I love you guys i'm glad we're all here together i know me too all right thank you let's go to paula you were you were i'm going to go randomly Right. Thank you so much. So, Mars, as much as I know that you've always said this was it, I would love to share the next one walk with you like we did this one. So I will leave that up to our own higher guidance, but um, know that we would love to see you again. Um, So my week has been very interesting this week. I've been doing some really deep work on myself with Mm -hmm. um, Anna Lurai. Mm-hmm. And um, the integration today was really quite different than what I've experienced before um, with the releasing of things. And I would just, I guess I don't have a question. I'm just here to say I am so blessed to have the group that I have between you guys and my other meditation group. I am just thrilled to know that I'm doing this lifetime with each of you. Yeah, and it looks like... Um... And it's happening with everyone here that we're talking to and lots of people that aren't here, but people really are anchoring to this new level and the old patterns um, of the heavier, um, you know, the people wanting to, those that that are inclined to do so that want to be on the dark side to use some Star Wars stuff, you know, want to use the heavier stuff, that's beginning to really fade and, and and the light is coming in and people are anchoring and operating more and more from this I don't know what you call this next level or whatever, you know, some people call the next new dimension, the new earth, but the the energies associated with that, the dimensional energies associated with it are really anchoring it. And that goes for you, Paula, that's happening with you. I'm seeing it. You're anchoring more of these new energies and it's a different kind of feeling about it. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like you're, ambiance of your environment's different or your spiritual environment it feels to me like it's i'm just going to use the word different um it's a good thing but different thank you yeah and that ma- that makes perfect sense um and i would just say that the 2728 really resonated it almost almost brought tears to me um and i hadn't really ever thought much about 
you know, that next option, but um, it was surprising how that stirred within me when you brought that up. So thank you. And I'll Welcome. just listen and for now. I think it's a pretty good chance you're going to be there. Yeah, it, it felt like it very, very much. Yeah, yeah, your high self is certainly saying that. And that's a real chance. I'm going to quote our friend Kay. She, I said, because she always tries to be, um, I, I always say that she, She's this, this spiritual maestro that wants to pretend she's June Cleaver or you know, the old Leave it to Beaver series. She wants to pretend she's and she's anything but that. And then she told me one time, she says, well, well, in that lifetime, I'm going to show them my stuff. And I really feel like so many people that are on the earth now that are wrapping it up. It really is a chance to just affirm that you are the spiritual master that we're that we're growing into that mastership. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Franny, I'm going to do you next. How about that? You're going to go to you. Kind of another random choice here. Hi. Thank you for doing this. And hello, everybody. Can you speak up just um, a little bit? <clears throat> sure. Is that better? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, 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 let me think for a minute. Um, one thing I was thinking is that I feel like we're all going to be together again well before 2700, 2800, that at least some of us are gonna be back sooner and be traveling again together. I mean, I, I just have a sense that um, for me, that's, I, I, I think that's gonna happen. So do you wanna comment on that? Yes, that's true. You, you will be, and a lot of others will do interim lives um, just because that's how they will choose to do it. Um, and some people, and most of us here, are still in that process of figuring out what we're going to finish up here, what we're going to leave for in between lives and what we might choose to do in another life before that really important life in the late 2700s and 2800s. I mean, we can choose to do it any way we want, but I think for you, that is true. Mm -hmm. um, I have a couple of other questions. Um, <clears throat> I've been feeling um, I don't know if it's the external energy shifting or my own personal energy shifting, but I've been feeling um, <clears throat> more grounded and a deeper sense of satisfaction at work, you might say. Mm -hmm. And I had been asking spirit, please only send me the people that can benefit from my skills that I have a good, um, a good fit with mm -hmm. um, because there's so much need out there that um, are intake person wants to get everybody in the door and you know they want to pack the schedule full and that's not healthy so i've had to put some brakes on and say um this is where i'm at caseload wise and blah 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 so um i guess that's just a comment that um there's something about i feel like i've got a really good fit with um with almost all of the people that i'm working with and with the ones that i don't it's more that there's a family member that there isn't the same resonance with, like the client themselves. It feels like I can help them and they appreciate me, but maybe the mom or dad isn't really, um, you know, I'm not connecting with them in as close a way as I would like to. So I'll pause there. Is that me or is that the universe or is it a combination of, of both? I was going to say yes and yes when you said was it me and that's yes and when you said it was external I got yes and some other stuff too that's kind of neither it's kind of you can't define it as internal or external it's kind of, I don't even know how to define it but yes and yes that is indeed true what that is happening um, it's a good thing I mean it seems like it's a very positive thing for you it's a really good thing it just it leaves me feeling more empowered and mm -hmm. definitely um, gosh, I had so much happen there right before the holidays. It just felt like a, a pressure cooker of one event after another. And I needed to go to the doctor several times for different ailments. And, um, uh, you know, I felt like I was in the spin cycle for sure. Um, since the first of the year, though, it definitely feels like things are different. And I, I respond so much to the return of the light so that even on a day like today, when we don't have sunshine, the ambient light is greater and it's really good for me. I can feel like I feel the turn towards spring and I feel my body kind of 
um, really soaking all of that up. So um, energetically, there's, you know, I just feel like there's this, a big relief of pressure and a relief of burdens and um, kind of a sense that I don't have to work as hard, worry as much, strive as much that I can just get up and show up and, you know, I'm enough the way I am. I don't have to, you know, I can dress up if I want to, but that even, that might be optional too, <laughs> that, um, you know, I can just be who I am and how I am and um, ask that I am put in a position to help those that, um, you know, to help when I can help when that, when that's for everybody's highest good. I think it's true. And the fact that it's gotten the, the earth, the frequencies, because as they keep coming in and anchoring the higher energies, some of that heavier stuff from before and all the stuff going on with our soul group in, in the world, that's, that's a mist that's beginning, the fog that's beginning to dissipate. And that's, it's going away and the higher energies are in. And that adds to the brightness of the ambience of our environment. Of course, it's, it's kind of non-visual, but it really does make it a, a nicer, lighter place to be in. It's a lighter room to be in. Wow, thank you for that. That's a good way to describe it. Mm -hmm. um, my last question is just that um, <clears throat> I, I have some old energy and some of that denser energy uh, concerning my nephew, Rob, and I'm just not sure what that's about, but he and I are supposed to talk tomorrow and we're still trying to sort out um, my brother, his dad's storage unit, and um, his wife is willing to help take it over. He's kind of like, take it to the dump, you know? And mm -hmm. um, anyway, I guess I'd like to, if you can help shine a light on what is the energy between he and I, and what do I need to know um, in order to come from um, a good place? Like, I think there's part of him that, wants me to just come back and do all the work. And that just doesn't make sense to me. And he's at the cusp of being willing to step into responsibility. And things have changed for him dramatically over the last few months. Like he's back at work and he's a lot less depressed and less stuck than he was a few months ago. So things are moving for them. And some other events happened where he's recognizing that um, he can count his blessings that there are other people that have been really hit hard with some adversity mm -hmm. and knock on wood for the moment. He's blessed, you know, he's blessed. So anyway, if you could um, guide me or give me some words of wisdom to guide me through the next uh, few months, I thought I was going to see them at Christmas and plans change. So I haven't. And part of me wants to go in the near future. And another part of me says, just wait a bit. And um, it'll become clear when when the path is um, open for you to go do to go visit or do whatever you're going to do. Well, my answer is, as you were talking and then you said it, I think you already have a, the insights of what you need to know, because when you were talking, I was it immediately came that you need to talk to him and that you would be talking soon. And then you said you have you're going to be talking and meeting in the minds. And I concur with your second thought, and this is what the universe and your higher guidance has for you. Don't let them put it on you. This is, they, can, they should be able to handle it. Let them take um, the level of responsibility that's appropriate and not require you to be as integral as maybe they would want you to be. And, um, but you know, they, they can handle a great deal of this, even more so than they may wish to do so. Um, that's what I'm getting from your higher guidance and especially the universe really, um, let them, um, do what they can. And, um, and, and you, because you're op good hearted and open hearted, sometimes you, you end up taking on a bit more than you should. And this is a time where it, it's really going to be serve them well to step up to the plate more and do as much as they can without you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you'll know more. Anyway, there's a, looks like there's two or three things that are going to come up that they're going to be talking about elements of, of the same thing or pieces of it anyway. Um, and I, one of the pieces they're going to really want, it feels like they're going to really want, um, there's going to be desire on, on, on the other side part to have you more involved than you, than you need to be. And you might even feel you need to be, but just see if you can um, 
as the conversation goes on or subsequent conversations that you can keep it um, as much loaded on their plate um, because they're there and they can, they should, it really is what I'm seeing their higher guidance would like them to do that, even if they're reluctant to do so, or I don't want to say the word reluctant, but sometimes perhaps um, um, the reluctance is going to be the word I use, but that's not quite the right word. They're just a little bit, I could say a little bit almost afraid to do so. They, they really like to have you involved, but it, to, you know, I think a lot of that can be discussed during the conversation and the rest of it can be handled. And it's nothing like if something comes up, they can't call you. They can. Um, so I think you already have a sense of what you need to do, which is um, let them handle it to the extent that they can. Great. And not put Great. it on you. Yeah, there is that hesitancy, at least with Rob. Yes. Serena's right there. She's like, we can do this. We, it's, we ought to do this. I, I'm ready to do it. But my nephew's, I don't know. Um, and he's even storing some of his tools in the, um, I, I believe, I think that's true that he's storing some uh, tools and things in the storage unit. So it makes sense that um, they would begin paying that fee and take it over and um, there's not a lot left. So you're right, they can call me. So thank you for that. I'm going to keep, um, I'm going to say that I don't, you know, I don't have any plans to come back anytime soon. And, um, you know, thank you so much for stepping up and helping and, you know, we'll stay in touch about it. And if you have questions, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. So yeah, and, and he, you're right. He does seem to be the, he's the one I was talking about. I mean, I sense there was a couple of people at least involved, but He's the one that seems to be hesitancy. That's the word, not reluctance, a hesitancy. Hesitant. Yeah. And, and, and part of it, just a concern that he's doing it right or doing it, you know, wants to make sure it's, it's in, I don't know, in, in the way that is appropriate. And, and I, 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 that's where the hesitancy is just a, a little bit of that. And I think you're empowering him to do so and say, hey, as you say, we can talk as we need to. We'll make him feel good that whatever decision he makes, he knows that he'll check with you before it's permanent, you know, um, mm -hmm. it, can, it can be undone for the most part. So yeah, the good that's, 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 a, that's really what the universe and both of your higher guidances has for you is that that's going to help them. And it's certainly going to help you um, not always have to be um, as involved as you sometimes end up being. So, yeah. And yeah. it's like, um, you know, through some of the, uh, I think it was the last meditation that we did. I had a, just a, I don't even know how to say it, but it was a, a, a visual glimpse, but it was more of an energetic glimpse of how my life would be different if I didn't take on mm -hmm. um, as much responsibility. And that was kind of shocking, like, wait a minute, you know, um, that those are, a, that's a, a lens or a set of glasses that I wear, but there are other ones that I could wear as well. Yes. So I want to make that shift and take a look at, I want to take a look at that pattern that's in place and hold on to that vision of um, being more joyful, being freer. Like there was with that glimpse, there was a sense of um, playfulness and freedom and um, work was there, but not as heavy um, and involvement with work and responsibilities were there, but just not as heavy as they are right now. So anyway, letting my nephew take care of that fits with this, what would you call it? Um, uh, new view of life. <laughs> yeah. And freeing. And just so you know, as you said, and I'm, your higher guidance and your guides, all of them right now are very pleased that you said that. That is something you've allowed yourself over lifetimes to be unnecessarily encumbered and burdened with things that were not necessarily your burden or yours to be encumbered with. And that in light, that, that approach is certainly in line with your true nature and your higher path. Wow. Yes. So you got it. You, and this, <laughs> this thing you're doing now is emblematic of a pattern that you've recognized and that you're moving into it. And that's just, they're really happy about that. Yay. Well, if anybody wants to hike or go outside or do something fun, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Maybe you can get Marcy to come over from Hawaii and go join you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Jeff. You're welcome. Thank you. And Pat, I didn't mean to make you last, but 
you're just as last but most awesome. I don't know. I don't say that everyone's awesome, but it's just awesome that you're you're finally going to be able to uh, jump in here. Okay, I will jump in. Good. Um, so let's see a couple things. The past couple of days, past three days, um, we've been noticing, and so have a couple other people I've talked to, how the energies are just uh, really, really strong. Mm -hmm. And they'll be up and down and all around. And I've noticed it a lot, which I don't usually in the solar plexus. Yep almost to a point like today when I got in the truck because we had uh, an appointment with an herbalist in Kalispell and I was nauseous. It was so strong. So once we're on the road, I'm fine. Everything's good. Everything what was really wonderful, a lot to be learned. And we did a bunch of shopping and that was all great too. And and then, you know, we get home and walk in the house and it's like, holy cow, the energy is so strong for all of us, I'm sure, because this energy vortex and gateway area that we all live in and what we must be doing that we is sometimes felt, and in my case, not usually seen, so I guess that's my first thing I want to ask about is you, you did, you did say some about that already, but. Yeah. And it's, you know, I'm probably, I mentioned this before, but you know, the, the, the energy comes down our spine, then it comes up the back of our spine from the base, from the male, the, the male and female, the yin and the yang air, and it goes like this. And where it crosses, it creates the vor it causes a vortex that creates the chakras in the front. So that said, past life energies attach on the back of the spine. That's how I see it, where they connect back there. Um, and they come in, and then of course it looks like they're coming out the front. You'll see the energy, some 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 whatever it was, stuff energies in the lower three chakras, because that's the ones that are associated with it, including the solar plexus. Um, and that's just because it's being released so fast. And some of it's, it's getting processed through your energetic body. Uh, it gets processed that way. It gets processed through the chakra system. And it's usually because an aspect of us, of our lower self, is holding on to a piece of it. So and rather than getting completely released without even being noticed, it gets processed through our energy system. But that's okay. Um, and it keeps coming, so I'm going to mention it. In your case, you know, Dr. McKimmy used to talk about it. The third chakra area there. That's called the lower mental body. It's associated with the animal consciousnesses mainly, but we've got it as well. And the lower mental body, if it's clear, is fine. Like any, any of these chakras, they're all awesome if, if there's not emotional baggage and, uh, and um, subconscious belief systems interfering, you know, because they operate at that frequency range. But when they're clear, they're just absolutely uh, invaluable to us because they're also sensors, they're receivers that we can pick up from the environment um you know what's going on at the earthly level anyway the lower mental body seems to have something to do with what you're processing as well and i'm not sure in what way because they're not telling me and it's probably because you're supposed to figure it out but, as usual <laughs> yeah that's what it's, it's, it's why it's coming up the way it is and, it, and it's accelerated with everybody and for people who i i really have heartfelt uh empathy for those who are not on the spiritual path because you know on, they're not committed to the spiritual path or everyone's on the spiritual path whether they know it or not because they're here but all these energies are coming up their energetic grounding points are and, and, and which are also our psychological emotional mental and various and energetic grounding points as those get disconnected those affect their ability to think rationally to be remain balanced to act um I guess in an even manner and uh, imagine how these people are, this stuff's happening to them and they don't know what to do about it. Yes. Yeah. Well, look at what's happening. All you gotta do is watch the evening news and you can see what's happening in the world for those who aren't necessarily, um, don't, don't have a spiritual center, you know? Yeah. And you can tell too, when you're out, and about like in Costco or whatever, and, and people just like, you'll just get certain people, they just 
look in your eyes and they just smile at you so much mm -hmm. that you know that you're giving out every place you go. It's just sure. such a beauty. Well, thank you. That's a, yeah, go ahead if you have more, because I think it, it's affecting all of us in the spiritual family mm -hmm. um, hugely. It is. And what you just said was absolutely, I mean, thank you for sharing that. That is indeed happening and, and it is intense. And because each of us are on the spiritual path, we're also anchors of light, as we always talk about. And that light gets goes through us and, and, and our light shines through, but also we're we're vessels of light where the a high, our higher guidance and their higher guidance will, can use us in the moment, like you're walking past someone at Wal, uh, say Walmart or Costco or wherever out mm -hmm. there in the world. All of a sudden that energy will come through you for them. And because it's coming through you at, at the, through your body in that way, they can receive it. It's tuned to the, the, to the human level and then they can be blessed by it. So you're right. Just by our staying centered in our own spiritual path, it certainly helps everyone around us because then we become the vessels of light. What is it? The lamp on the hill in, in the, in this, was it Matthew that they talk about that? It's one of the synoptics. They talk about be the, be the, you know, don't put a bushel basket over your light, let your light shine. And, and right. it's, that's exactly what we're doing when we're, we're on the spiritual path like this. So that's everybody really keep it up. And I just noticed now this, this is not my second question, but I have been like, just like all of a sudden, like I am so heated up. It's like when you're having a session with you guys or, you know, we're at meditation, like right now it's happening. It's like, oh my gosh. Yep. That happened. And it'll come in waves too, uh, because our non-conscious self is doing stuff, you know, we're doing things at all these different levels that where conscious mind doesn't even know we're doing. And at various points for just, I'll just call them cosmic reasons because everything in our, our environment, we're around someone, it, it's the moment that it needs to happen. All of a sudden the energy will start coming through like you're experiencing and you think you're having hot flashes, um, exactly. but it's energetic. And so, yes, I can certainly affirm that. Crazy. Okay. So my other question came up when you were talking uh, about the uh, going into the 2800s and that those folks that decide to come back will be enlightened beings or enlightened masters, however you want to put it. Yep. So does that mean from day one, when you come in, are you going to have to go through the birth and then all of that going through the whole kid thing? Um, or are you going to be, is a person going to be just kind of walking in already in their light body, fully developed and that, we would not have to experience the um, pain and all of that emotional baggage that has happened to many of us in this lifetime and, of course, in our all of our past lives. Well, when you come in, you're going to be pretty much baggage free. And let me let me, let me speak out of many sides of my mouth, if that's even possible. Some people are going to come in and have a regular birth because that's part of what they're, that's what they're going to leave for that lifetime. They're going to have that, the final one, they'll come in. Jesus was born that way. Um, and they may choose to ascend um, and, and, and just take their body with them, take the whole thing up. Some, as you, and, and um, Carl, anyone familiar with Carlos Castaneda, mm -hmm. his writings way back when? there are beings who can come in and take physical form, do some interaction here on the earth and then leave. And there's going to be some of those that do that. There's some that'll be walk-ins. They'll come in maybe when someone's in their late teens, early twenties, and, um, and, and they'll do it that way. It's whatever mix of things, but everyone's going to come in who's chosen. And it's a commitment ahead of time. It's, it's one of those things that's going to happen Either if Kay hasn't already managed to get you to say yes, um, it'll be something it'll, that you will be guided to be by your higher guidance in this lifetime or in between lives. It'll happen because there's a long commitment that's going to a preparation that's going to happen and you'll come in illuminated and enlightened and different people in different ways because some people will want to finish off some stuff and then be fully illuminated in that life. Some will come in fully illuminated. It's going to be a mix of things depending on how 
everyone's kind of deciding to come into that life and wrap things up, but everyone's going to have, they're going to know who they are. They're going to be enlightened, illuminated. They're going to know about this life and previous ones to the extent that they need to know. Um, and that's going to be a strength for all those around them because, again, this is that late 2700s, 2800s is at least as important as this time. I'm sensing even more so because of um, the things that will be happening then, which I don't know what they are, but I'm getting that will be very important. Um, that a whole lot of advanced being people come back in. And there's so many people and everybody again on the screen is, is one is, is one of them that has that choice to come in. Um, and some of you won't decide until later in between lives, whether you're doing that or not. So anyway, I hope I answer you the question. It, it's going to be a mix of ways. I, I'm getting a different feeling about, it. I mean, in the past, uh, when I was still going through stuff myself, or mm -hmm. even when I was stepping into more power of the spiritual light, I would say, absolutely not, no way. And um, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that anymore, but I'm viewing it a little bit differently than I did in the past, you know, you, like. You know why, yeah. right? One of the reasons, one big, huge reason, K. Yep. <laughs> that stinker. Yeah, I told you she is absolutely relentless in a positive angelic kind of way. She is when she's committed to something spiritually, she will use every level of her being, every aspect of her being to talk to every level of your being and aspect of your being to get you to say yes. So Well, I but I do see it in a more more uh it's a positive thing. Go ahead. Yeah, in a more grown up way than yeah. I was before, because at least I'm standing back and saying, well, maybe because so many times in my life, I have said to things, no, no, no. And then I missed out on an opportunity mm -hmm. to experience something that may have put me over the top right now. But because I said no, um, absolutely not. I, I just you know and that to me was part of my little child or ego thing as well so I, yeah. I think yeah i think this is helping everybody um and maybe we'll have other discussions future discussions on it as well um i think so to put it more in perspective i think we're going to be talking about this more and i think and and, and why i'm saying that i'm getting this from the divine Whew, boy am i ever and from the higher etheric realms and the beings and the angels and the arche and just so many of the guides that all of you have they're they're going to want to talk about this more when the time is right we'll have these discussions again in probably a slightly different context because you know as as we as our life unfolds we have more awareness and illumination about what's going on and we're going to have a better sense of uh when the conversation happens then it'll be appropriate for then um but I just cannot understate the importance of your in recent encounter with Kay. Um, it was hugely significant, immensely. Yeah, thank and you. she meant it that way. She, she, because of, I'm just gonna, she wants to keep it kind of between you and her, but be mm -hmm. how, because of how she did it and how it was done, um, it was immensely potent and extremely, I'm gonna call it, between the two of you and your relationship and just in your spiritual life, it was a definite rite of passage for you. Hmm. And for her too, because that was, the, she had to be willing to do it and you had to be willing to receive it. Yeah. And, and I guess uh, we're that connected on another level of, yep. Well, thank you um, for all the gems as usual of wisdom. And now I can't wait to hear Lisa. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lisa, for joining in. Hello, and do you have anything to share, anything to ask, or both? Hi, you guys. Sorry I'm so late. Um, I was in Spokane today, so mm. it's one of those all-day things. Um, actually, it's so weird because I woke up at like 4 this morning. Um, you know how you get that worry where you're, you're worried you got to be somewhere and you're not going to wake up? So I guess that's why I woke up, but when I went back to sleep, I actually had a, a dream about you, Jeff. It was really uh, 
quite uh, lucid. Mm. And you had like these, I mean, it was just kind of still bizarre because, you know, the mind can't always bring it all back in. But you had like these little tiny Tibetan brass bowls that you were playing for me. <laughs> it was really interesting. So anyways, um, the energy's still been pretty weird. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a big download on, what was it, February 1st, we had that new moon. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't had this for a while, but I had so much energy coming in, I couldn't hardly keep my eyes open. I had to lay down and then energy just started flooding my body um, for about an hour. And then I woke up and was pretty disoriented. So that's kind of how February started. Um, one thing I don't know if you can answer or not, Jeff, is I've just had intense heat in my body for like, I don't know how many months now, and it's just not calming down. You know, is this something that's uh, something that I can do on a physical level to resolve? Is it my adrenal stuff again? Or is it just the energy and I just have to wait it out? Okay. I'm going to kind of say yes, yes, and yes, but there are some things you can do, but it is the energy and especially, and I can say this and I, I think I've mentioned it before, because of the archetypal nature of the female body, both physical and spiritual, when you take on that role, being in a female body, it um, resonates with the body of creation. Let's just say that for short. And what happens because of this, because of its archetypal nature, what I've noticed with, it'll happen with males as well, it can happen with either one, but always much more pronounced with women, is that the energetic, the nature of the energies coming in um, will manifest in the body. So it will, for example, speed up your thyroid or adjust the, change the, the adrenals or some other organ or some combination of them, and that's what's happening with you. So are there are some things you can help to do to maybe settle it a little bit, some some um, homeopathic uh, tinctures and things like that. This is Deborah's department. I can always see them, but I don't necessarily know what they are. But generally speaking, uh, you're just going to have to go with the flow because that's what's happening to everyone, and it's really happening to you, both as part of the energies coming in, the soul group, your normal anchoring, plus this. I'm going to call it personal spiritual cycle that you happen to be in right now and have been for the past while, a few months, a little longer than that. So I think the answer is it just <laughs> make the best of it and flow with it if you can. It's gotten really bad. It, I can't it, sleep because mm -hmm. it just comes in and like, I don't know, as a maybe the beginning of this week, I just felt like my whole insides were melting. I got so hot. I've never felt that intense heat, but it's, it's so uncomfortable. It's horrible. Um, it's, it, I'm really struggling with it. So. Can I recommend you um, maybe write, uh, Deborah, get a time to talk with her. She's really good at, has a really good sense of what to use as you're talking. She'll, she'll have a no know, knowing about it. There are some things I get that you can do to help reduce it a little bit, but just so you know, uh, I routinely am like I've had you know, um, five cups of coffee and I'm go to bed and I haven't had any. I've just, it's the energy. I wake up like you, I wake up at 4 5 o'clock in the morning from the incoming energies. And many of us are going to be experiencing that because this is a real shifting up period. And the part you missed that we were talking about is that the, energies the heavier denser energies of the soul group and what's been going on are beginning the fog is beginning to, to clear the mist is beginning to clear it's getting clearer the higher energies are coming in um, and people are truly anchoring to this next level all this energy associated with this level that we're leaving we're anchoring more and more up here to the higher level the new earth a new dimension whatever you call it and we're operating increasingly from that and that's certainly true of you um, and it's happening in a way that's unique for each person. So it's never quite the same for two, any two people. But um, as that's happening, you're moving into this new, that's what I'd say, what I'm sensing with you. And, and, but it's also part of your personal development cycle. It's kind of a, 
it's all the normal stuff plus the cycle of things with you. Um, it's, it's specific. So it's some growth that your pro processes that you're in the middle of the whole set of them. In addition to all the other things that are happening with you. So, and, and this is you, I mean, each of us has our things going on, but this is a huge group of them that have been going on since about September. It looks like. Yeah. Yep. That's what it looks like. That's what they're showing me. And it's going to continue to go until it looks like it'll start tapering in May. Oh, geez. You probably want me to say sooner than that, but that's what it looks like. It'll taper a little before then, but you're going to have little ups and downs on it. And it's part of this. I don't even know what to call it because they're not letting me know what it is, which tells me it's not for me to know. But there's this whole group of things that you've um, that are really necessary as part of your soul growth, your spiritual growth. And in so many different ways, you know, there were so these multifaceted, multispectral beings and just in so many ways of being who you are, it's necessary for these things to happen. So um, I wish I could tell you that it was going to slow down, but it's not. But Deborah, I get that if she can. You got you two can talk about it, and I think you know some stuff. And between the two of you, there's some things that you can do that can help damp tampen it down a little bit for the body. Yeah, it wasn't it. I wasn't sure because I, you know, I've got a lot of exhaustion, no energy. Yep. Um, so I was kind of worried, it, it, you know, that I'd kind of depleted my adrenals again, like I had before when I got really sick. It is um, affecting them and it, it would probably be good. That's why I'm getting that you should talk. Your high self is saying that you should talk to, um, to Deborah about it because there's some things that you can do because the adrenals do get kind of worn down as we're doing all this let you know letting go of old grounding points making new grounding points you know it's not like a we, we do this and then we integrate then we do it again you, you know it's as you know it's a constant process where we're at all the time we're, we're letting go of some grounding making new groundings making new connections and we're integrating but because of the rate that it's happening with you because of this group of things plus the normal stuff plus just some wider back soul group things you've got a lot of of connecting, disconnecting, and integration going on that's put, stressing the body a bit and the adrenals a bit. So it, okay. you're not in danger right now, but it would be good for you to do some, to take some, um, I don't know if it's tinctures or supplements or something that will, can help you out on that. And and there are some things that can do it that, okay. that are there for you. Well, that, that kind of lets me know what's going on. Yep. That's what's happening. And it's, I, I don't want to say torrential. It's not quite that way. But it's, it's kind of like, it's more than what we may, we may recognize. It's like the Mississippi River at one point years ago, the our Corps of Engineers has kind of fixed it now. But at one point, some parts of the Mississippi River were a mile wide, but like six inches deep. Yet, and it didn't seem like the water, there was that much movement there. But if you take a six inches of water that's a mile wide, that's a lot of water moving. And that's kind of how it is with you. Okay. There's a lot more... Um, a lot more energy. It's not torrential, but it's huge. It's big. Okay. Yeah. So there was a, you've probably heard of Patricia Cotarobos. Pat usually talks about her quite a bit. She mm -hmm. just put out something that from that's, uh, she calls it the Aquarian Gateway, and it just opened up on the 2nd of February, and it's going to go through till the 22nd of February. Mm -hmm. And she said that everybody's I am presence is going to be clearing out basically beliefs, experiences, everything that's been created, um, not in the vibration of love. And basically, it's going to be just the slate is going to be clear. So I'm curious if you can look at that a little bit and because, you know, there's a lot of people that aren't really awake yet on the planet. Yeah, and actually, I can't. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, so I'm just curious, like, is this because it sounded like this is happening for everybody that's on the planet. And she says that people will be able to focus more 
on the positive and the light and not get caught up so much in the fear when this stuff gets cleared. Um, so I'm just curious if you can expand on that or maybe your perspective of that. Yeah, I'm glad you asked it because something that explains why something came in earlier today. Um, I was wondering where it came from because you know how it is. These things hit us at odd times. Like, what is that all about? Um, so let me t first say this is what the these this opening is there that can make can allow it so that it can happen. But remember, we all have freedom of choice at every level of our being. And I'm going to tie back to something Edgar Casey said. He was once asked a question uh, about someone who is very much into astrology and very heavily into astrology. And they said, do the planets control me? And I'm going to give you the Reader's Digest version of, of his answer, which was basically, we're all part of the universe. We're connected to the universe. So yes, planet alignment and those things, we are part of the universe. So there, therefore, those energies, um, as they open up or close down, do affect us. But we are not dictated. We're not, um, our future or our path isn't controlled by them. We have control beyond what the planet alignment. I mean, it can foster growth, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it will happen. So I'm going to generally say that even those who, as this gateway opens up, even those, so long as they're not holding on to it, you know, just tightly holding on to their old patterns, it's going to clear some things away. Those who are actively seeking the, the spiritual path will, uh, obviously, it will facilitate that within them a lot more. But even within that, if they choose to hold on to some piece, let go of this piece, but then hold on to this other piece, that can happen. You can kind of think of it as, um, they're showing me, I'm gonna, I, I, you've probably seen it. Ever seen those graphs, they have a bell curve, the statistical bell curve. And then this is like the fringe elements, uh, you know, people out here, this is like 1%. And then as you get in, um, you, you get into the 99th percentile. So I would say the, the top, you know, the big, the big top of the bell curve is where a lot of things will happen. That's going to happen for those who are really on the committed spiritual path. And the further you move away from people that are actively on the spiritual path, the less things that are going to be that will be happening with them because of how open they are and how uh, attached they are to things. So it certainly is an opportunity for that gateway. It opens up for the opportunity for those who wish to take advantage of it, both consciously and non-consciously. Um, but it'll be an individual thing how by how much happens. So that's my long answer to your short question. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, appreciate um, that. Yeah, and, and that's how it is a lot of this stuff. When they talk about these things that are open up, and, and boy, I'm, I'm so glad you asked that. That's interesting that that came through today. It was like, where did that come from? And that's what it was, what it was about was this. They knew it was coming up. Um, and so a lot of these things, these alignments that can happen, um, they certainly foster for us. And some more people, some people more than others, depending on your zodiac sign, because you're more uh, affected by certain planets than others. But again, we always have free will to choose what um, what we what we want to do. We're not controlled. We we're, they may we may be influenced by these things, but we're not controlled by these things. So. Um, Thank you for asking that. I'm, that makes me feel much better knowing why that came through earlier today because I spent like 15 or 20 minutes having that come in and I was w wondering about it, so. Yeah, it's, when I read the email, um, I just kind of felt into that whole energy of what she was saying and it was mm -hmm. just like, I got this intense like joy and just like this excitement yeah. because it sounds like it's, this is like hugely substantial to have all of this discordant stuff just cleared away. Um, and then I was like, wow, well, you know, what's that going to look like for everybody? Um, especially the people that aren't really awake yet, you know, they're not conscious of what's really happening. Um, yeah. And but, to the extent that they're open, it's things are going to happen because it's going to happen at the non-conscious level because part of their life plan could very well be to just do this um, in background. You know, each of us chooses how we're going to how we're going to do these things. And yes, um, absolutely. And for those such as yourself, where it really resonates and you're actively seeking this thing, it, you're, you're, you're taking the gift. You're saying, yes, give that to me. I'm taking it. I claim <laughs> that 
And of course, greater things will happen with you than for someone else who says, well, not, I'm not sure and I don't think so, or they want, you know, where they're blocking it. Um, things can still happen, but not as much. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank You're you welcome. for commenting Thank you. on that. Yeah. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. I was just, just going to say the energetics of that really came in very strongly as you were speaking about it. I just almost felt like I was ready to go out with how strong that energetic was. Yeah. So, Isn't that wonderful? That yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that I'm glad Lisa brought it up that it's really wonderful. And, and there's going to be other things like that as they come come about. And, and I know sometimes, and it's like, I think it's like a lot of spiritual stuff, you know, how it is something really talks to us. And maybe it's, it's, it, and our, my friend Gail often says that he, he says, he gets something and he realizes it might just be for him, it might also apply to other people. So he knows sometimes when it really resonates with him, maybe other people will say, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, you know, or, hey, that's good, but it's not, you know, it's, it's a three for me, it's a 10 for you. You know, each of us is going to have our own experience with it. So, yeah. But I love it when these things happen, especially if we're aware of it. I think of it like a spiritual gift. We can choose to accept the gift or not choose to accept the gift. But if we do, and I like what you said, Pat, sometimes, what is it? Um, uh, Richard Bach said in Illusions, don't turn away from possible futures until we know that we have anything to learn from them. Sometimes, and I think we've all done it, I've said, no, I don't think so. And then later to realize, you know, I should have said yes, you know. Um, but of course, those opportunities will come again, but in a different way for us to grow. So I don't have anything else, but does anyone else have any thoughts? I'd just echo um, what Paula just said. The energy really shifted when you started talking um, about what Lisa mentioned and the Edgar Casey thing. It's just like everything started you know, solar plexus and everything, like all that puffed up expansion <laughs> air started coming out of it. So yeah. Something moving. Something yeah. moving. Well, I'm glad Lisa brought it up because that was, it was good. And I know Pat does send those out on those and I, and I read them um, sometimes more than others. I'm probably like all of us. Sometimes I'm a firm believer, allow ourselves to be guided as to, you know, am I to do something or not to do something? We do it because our guidance says to do it. And then when, when that comes through, it's so much more for us than if we do it just because someone else says we should do it, you know. Um, our own higher guidance always knows what's best for each of us. So I don't have anything else on my end. Does anyone else have any last things to share? Um, any questions? Any other comments? This has been awesome, everyone being together. I'm so glad that we we come together once a month like this is um, if we even when we can't be together we're together yeah yeah thank you everybody this is really powerful tonight i can feel it within my being too it's like whoa yeah. i'm starting to burn up again yeah i'm glad i'm fine actually I, i'm not happy that it's happening for all of you but deborah goes through this a lot too the same thing, and I occasionally get not as much as Deborah does, but I all of a sudden I feel it coming through in heat. Mainly when the energy comes in, it's like caffeine for me. Either I can't get to sleep or I wake up at 4 a.m., you know, as a new wave comes in. So I, I know what you mean. I just don't feel the heat thing as much. But the fact that all that's happening to all of you is just an affirmation of all that's happening right now spiritually in the world and, of course, with each of us. So... With that, just blessings and light to everyone until next month. Hope to see you then. Love you blessings. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye everybody. Good, Good to night. see you everyone. Thanks, Good Jeff. Thank You're you. welcome.